Today we're here in the studio talking with Titan 2. How you doing, guys? Great. Good. How's it going? Good. All right, so uh, let's go through uh, just so the people out there will know uh, who you are and uh, what you do in the band. So go ahead, anybody. Gabriel, lead guitar. Also known as Ramen. <laughs> Super sexy, too. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and I'm Lion or Paz, the bass player. Uh, I'm Jim Toscano. I'm the drummer. I'm Sorry. Scorpio. <laughs> also known as Lightning. Uh, my name is Lee Wilson. I'm uh, vocals and rhythm guitar. We formed about a year ago. It was actually last July that we officially came together. We had just kind of formed from two separate bands, and yeah. we were playing. You know, we were coming from a real just kind of jam band, you know, that was just playing locally in Manhattan. And, and I was going um, more from a rock and roll uh, band. <clears throat> yeah, so, um, you know, it was an interesting mixture. We had written, like, one or two songs, and, uh, you know, Jim came in. We, we just kind of went back and listened to the tapes, and I realized that we all kind of just musically... It was just a good chemistry. We could kind of just feel instantly. Uh, we all kind of encompass a different background, but what I think that we've especially been able to figure out in the last couple of months is that musically, we have figured out who we are. We seem to have really found our identity as Titan 2. <laughs> How'd you guys hook up with Jim then? Where did you find him through? Uh, I was homeless. I was laying on the street outside the studio. I an ad out on Craigslist. Yeah. And, uh, we had some crazy yeah, it, was a real, uh, it was a real all-star team that showed yeah. up that oh, day. True story. Um, the guys that we were running studio space from, after Jim left, came in and were like, That's, That's the guy! guy. <laughs> That's the guy! <laughs> like, <laughs> So uh, this is their up-tempo rocker Green Day meets Blink-182 kind of in-your-face <laughs> shot. So uh, get ready for some heavy guitar riffs and some bashing drums. This is a track called You. If I want her to be And now the final track off the CD, again showing their diversity, is a track called Self Control. This is like I'm hanging out on the beach with yeah. a couple Mai Tais. Absolutely. Well, barbecue and beers and a backyard summer jam. That's definitely what this one is. Beautiful. Yeah. Sure. That's definitely has like a New Orleans-y kind of feel. Like underlying in the tune. So it's it's kind of like Bo Diddley meets Puff the Magic Dragon. <laughs> <laughs> so many things that I have said. You 
you know, I, I think our music that we've tried to create over the past couple months as a band is focused on having a commercial, popular sound. But at the same time, I think it stays true to all of our influences as a group, I think. so. I'm sensing more of a feel that you guys are going for with your music. Is that... Absolutely. It's a great point. I feel like uh, lyrically, one of the things that we're really trying to get after is relevancy. It's all relevant. It's all stuff that everybody in the world is going through. Everybody can relate to. Everybody can at least understand in a, in a much more universal kind of like way. I think it, it paints a real good picture of um, everybody's life as opposed to just mine. Like Gabe's or Lions or Jim's. I got a friend that I don't see too much of. His head's in the clouds. He's so strong out. Doesn't even know what love is I got a friend that I don't see too much of He's blaming me now, got no way out Can't be happy without the doubt What'd you say that? Healing in the 